Welcome to episode number 36 of Friday Fizz. Today we're going to talk about Trump and his misdemeanors. We're going to talk a little bit about new video ads and we're going to talk a lot about videos and viral. Home sweet home. So yeah, so this week there's been some big news from the US. Um, well, from a British former spy guy who has, um, interestingly, I never really thought about this until it's just popped into my head now. There's this from a, a former British spy who now has an intelligence company who's probably getting a shit ton of PR. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I never thought about this. Anyway, so he's, he's basically leaked a memo that says, um, that the Russians are basically potentially holding Donald Trump to ransom over some very negligible content that they have on him. So it, now, from what I don't think it means what you think it means. It, it could be like prostitutes. It could be information about his businesses. Obviously, this is big news. Major potentially um, could affect his presidency, and there were. Even some people saying that he may be removed from office if, the, if it turns out to be true. And apparently, Paddy Power, I've just heard, live from our feed from Chris, uh, I've just heard that Paddy Power are offering odds of 20 to 1 for him not actually becoming officially president, which I am going to put money on. Really? I'm putting no, it out it's there. It's only a couple of weeks. I reckon he'll become president. I think, I like, think he'll get removed. Like we've said before. Or, yeah, I don't think he don't he'll want to do it. Term. I don't think he... He, he don't want, like, he's old. Like, he's really old. He's got nothing else to do. Like, he's got all his money, he's just, he can have a play around with this now, can't he? Well, that, but he that's He spent the all his money on expensive toys, yeah. and now he's got a whole country <laughs> slash world to destroy. I know, yeah, that's so, the, but that, that is the problem, isn't it? It, it, it is a bit of a game just to a rich, rich man that likes getting what he wants, so. Now he's got a bit more power than anyone expected, so I, it's, it's interesting. The most powerful man on the planet, apparently, but probably not now, if, Putin does have some information on him, then Putin's probably the most powerful man in the world because well, he also controls the US. Well, there's, there's rumours that it was the Russian. well, it's quite strong rumours, isn't it, that the R Russians helped him get in anyway. Yeah. And it was swayed by the Russians. Um, I don't know whether it came out that it was swayed, but it was certainly... Um, Influence. Yeah, the, yeah, they had an influence of some yeah. sort. I don't really understand it, but uh. yeah, uh, yeah, and and you know, the U.S. intelligence has basically said it's fact that he had, you know, which is massive. Yeah, it's yeah. insane. Like it's crazy for for another country to affect another country's elections. Yeah. Well, they said if they've done it for the U.S., then look out Europe, kind of yeah, thing. Yeah, yeah. Because Putin's I mean, got you. Brexit. In case you missed this press conference, you missed a lot, but we boiled it down to the the key parts. Sick crap. Russia, China, fake news, hacking Hillary Clinton. Bad, terrible, disgraceful, horrible. Nazi Germany, fantastic. Garbage, germaphobe. Give me a break. You're fired. Right, anyway, so it's time for uh, a new feature. We've got a question of the week this week from our number one fan, Christopher Fuster. Uh, for the non-geeks who watch Friday Fizz, what is CES? Something electronics or something show. All, all the fancy electronics and tech and yeah. everything new, it's a big big one of the biggest ones of the calendar yeah like crazy concepts as well as yeah. like new new uh, releases and stuff like that so it's loads of expensive gadgets basically and basically this was the year of everybody's alexa yeah pretty so much yeah everybody's the released their own yeah internet of things linking everything together being able to shout at a electronic box that's going to send something in your post mm, so they've, they've now put it in a fridge so you can basically talk to your fridge yeah, oh, I heard that one. Wait, like, and it'll tell you when your food's gone out of date and yeah, all, all sorts. Sort of so you can, yeah, it knows everything about your fridge, and then you can ask it questions about cooking and all that kind of oh, stuff. Oh, okay. Well, I like it's it. Yeah. Handy. So, so you could say something like, you know, what's left in the fridge? What yeah. can I cook out of this? And it'll tell you it's got yeah. mushrooms. What can I make with mushrooms? Yeah, and then mushroom it'll read you a few. Or there you go. Yeah, yeah. So it's quite smart. Also lazy. Uh, yeah, but I quite like that idea. Yeah. Yeah. From looking up recipes, streaming online music and videos 
and yes, even online shopping. Alexa has, um, there was an advert or something, it was on the radio or TV? No, it was, it was a TV ad. Um, you've probably seen them where it's, it's Amazon advertising Alexa and yeah. uh, basically it shows a situation, a scenario of like a family ordering something. And on this one, it's a kid, I think, ordering a doll's house. Yeah. So obviously when this advert plays on TV and this girl's commanding Alexa to order a doll's house, yeah. Alexa in people's homes was overhearing this and ordering people doll, doll's houses. <laughs> that was, it was a really expensive doll's house yeah. as well. Um, so that was like the first stage and that was quite funny. But then there was a news report about this happening, <laughs> about this issue. And I think it was the news report. And then the news reporter at the end of it said something about um, how he found it funny. Yeah. that people were ordering dolls houses and then it ordered more dolls houses because <laughs> the news report. I love the little girls take on it. Alexa ordered me a doll house. As soon as Jim said that, viewers all over San Diego started complaining their Echo devices had tried to order doll houses. It's funny, I mean, it, it, it was always going to happen though. Yeah, but the thing is you can turn it off. In settings, you can turn it off so it's got to have a pin before it orders something. Right. So obviously, if you go around running around, your kids could run around the house saying, Alexa, order me chocolate. Because it was ordering um, like a bag of cookies as well, a right. massive bag of cookies with yeah. the doll's house. Right. Um, I guess that was on the advert or something. Yeah. So yeah, kids could just run around having a laugh ordering stuff. So it makes sense. I'd definitely just do that. Go and put a pin code on. Mm. Order me a drone. Uh, yeah, so that was, uh, that was good. Yeah, yeah, that was, that interesting, was interesting. So that's the yes, thanks for that, Chris. Straight on to another feature of the week. <laughs> Last night, pointless. Yeah. Um, or whenever it was, Wednesday night, I think. Um, and these two girls have got to the final. Um, so obviously, you've got to get your pointless answer. Uh, your first answer was Henrik Larsson. In this case, we were looking for any goal scorer from Euro 2000. Henrik Larsson. Is that a good answer? Is it pointless? Look at that, it's right. Henrik Larsson is a correct answer. So far, so good. Now, if this goes all the way down to pointless, you leave here with £2,250. It's looking very good. Down it goes through the single figure, still going down. My boyfriend, Alex, is a massive Celtic supporter, um, and he knows I'm rubbish with names and things like that, so he said, anything football related. He's played for Man U, he's played for Celtic and Barcelona, I think. And he just said, go for Henrik Larsson. No. And he's paid off, so. Um, but Pointless has brought up quite a few recently. Um, and I think people have been making features of them because, yeah. I don't know, some writer must be watching Pointless a lot and yeah. picking them up on them. Because yeah. um, there was a girl the other week. Countries that end with two consonants as they could. So can you name a country that ends with two consonants? Are you asking me? Yeah, I mean, you could Germany, England. You, you know, you could think of some, even if they're going to be high scorers. You so, didn't uh, the answer. I know, you looked a bit too confused. So <laughs> <laughs> I thought yeah, I'd answer for you. So this, this girl, again, first one up, so it wasn't hard. You just pick a difficult, pick an easy one or something. Yeah. She said, Paris. <laughs> you dense motherfucker. Uh, we, whilst we're on the topic of game shows, we should probably mention the chase. Our, our friend Chris is oh, yeah. going on there on no, Monday. Monday. Monday, yeah. 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 So watch, watch Pointless on Monday at five o'clock. No, not Pointless. The chase. The chase. Yeah. On, on at five o'clock on Monday. This yeah. coming Monday. Yeah. Like so, the next weekday. Yeah. I think he'll win. It, I, if it was him, I, you don't know what the team's yeah, like. Yeah, that's true. But like, he's a proper pub quizzer. So yeah. if, sure honestly, if you don't get past. The first bit, I'm going to be absolutely <laughs> disgusted. He's built it up for quite a while. If yeah, you didn't get he, through the first bit, you wouldn't tell anyone, I don't no, think. So. You no, know, exactly. Yeah, you'd, you'd be writing in saying, oh, I don't want my show to be visiting. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, good luck, Chris. Um, hopefully you've watched it until this point and not got too bored. Uh, if you have, make a comment and then everybody can say good luck and haha, what a <laughs> you are when you lose or, or win. <laughs> um, anyway, interesting um, social media stuff happening this week. Yeah, I suppose it's it's on the video stuff still, isn't it? Uh, I mean, video, 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 video. Who are we talking about? I, I did a blog basically all about that this week. Saying video, 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 well, video, th video, video. Three killer tips did for, uh, for oh, social media that. in 2017. Yeah, I saw that. And actually, that um, did you just put video, video, video? Point one video, point two video. <laughs> yeah, so you get I mean, I, I read all of your blogs. So. I, can, I can tell, yeah, clearly. Intensely. Yeah, cool. Um, 
but no, it's, it's just about uh, more ads that are coming up into videos. Yeah. And I think it just shows the potential for video because obviously with YouTube, um, they make sure you can advertise on it to keep the best creators there yeah. to make them some money. So now Facebook are doing the same. It's, this has been a long time coming. Like, yeah. fit, YouTube were the absolute first ones out there saying, we want the best film creators, mm. you're gonna earn some cash doing it. I suppose that was, it was a, it was a video platform. Yeah. Whereas Facebook had a platform, yeah, yeah. had a, an existing platform, an existing fan base that they didn't necessarily want to pee off with ads too yeah. soon. Yeah, maybe. Um, and also to try and get people going with Facebook Live yeah. and stuff like yeah. that. So is this just on live? Is it, or is it on normal video as well? The new announcement is about Facebook Live. Right. Um, but it's gonna follow. mid-roll ads are gonna be, initially they're gonna be on uh, pre-recorded videos. Right. Um, so basically if you upload a video, it's got to be at least 90 seconds long. Mm and then after at least 20 seconds, you can put an advert that will run in between your video. Mm. Um, so just like a TV commercial kind of thing. And you'll get paid, it's the same rate as YouTube. I can't remember exactly what it is. Cool, yeah. well, I like it. Yeah. So it was about time. It's and the same with Instagram stories as well. Yeah, yeah. So obviously it's another Facebook platform, yeah. but um, ads within stories, same as Snapchat and stuff yeah. like that. We interrupt this program to bring you a special report. Big, big to look out for next week. It is vlog. I just spat it away, let's try that one again. It is vlog number two. Number two. So well excited for the, the new vlog. I've seen the first cut of it today. A little bit of tweaking to do for it to be ready for Wednesday next week, but you must watch the vlog. It's gonna be insane. It's about tracking our journey. Um, it's gonna feature all sorts of stuff. Basically, it's gonna tell our story. Um, give everyone a little bit of an insight and we're actually putting some effort into editing this. I mean, I'm not saying that Chris doesn't put effort into editing Friday Fizz, but it's a little bit um, relaxed in its nature. Oh, um, yeah, so that's it. I mean, that's good. I'm yeah. excited. Good, good, um, good week. We've had a great week at Plus 24, actually. A few new deals. You know, it's all going well this week. A few more new deals. Um, carry on, do the same again next week, and we'll smash our targets. Not just our targets, but probably have the best month we've ever had. So thank you very much to our customers and clients and everybody like that. Show me the money! Keep your ideas coming in for features and make sure you get in some questions because we're going to do a question each week. Uh, we're going to add a few more features. Mm. We're still looking for people to send in their own clips so that we can integrate some other people. You know, if you want to get on board the Friday Fizz fame, send us a clip. And, and it's not for the now, okay? So we only get like a few thousand views on our videos now. Think about if we carry on doing this for another 12 months and then people looking back. If you want to do a bit of self-promo, <laughs> Now's your chance, because we won't be doing this in 12 months, because we'll be too big, and we won't be looking at you little people. Thanks for watching. <laughs> Thanks for watching Friday Fizz. Don't forget to send your stuff in, and check out the vlog next week. Video of the week.